Hi everybody, welcome along to our Tuesday afternoon tutorial Tuesday. It's the second week of doing this and already I've got so many ideas I can't just can't stop thinking about it. Um, I think it's after doing weeks of the Little Golden Book, uh, which was really a fun project, but I feel quite liberated now. I, I can do anything I want to do. So um, I'll show you what I have been doing and then I'll show you how I deviated from that, as is often the way. I uh, started off to make two of these blue journals. Um, they are using all sorts of paper, but predominantly Stephanie's, uh, my porch prints paper. Uh, and there are two and they're similar. And this is where I got two. Isn't that gorgeous, that image? Um, and we made this last Tuesday, uh, which fits in there really nicely. I like that a lot. Um, on the back, we've got a tummy tuck with an envelope in it and some more of that book that I love and then some music sheets. A music sheet, should I say, folded over, decoupaged onto um, a pink butterfly, which are everywhere throughout this journal. Uh, the back of the music sheet was just a little collage on it. And these three pockets um, with tags in, they've got acetate there, pink flowers behind, a little pink butterfly on there. Uh, all three are the same sort of idea. And they've got these nice uh, organza, well, multi multiple of things actually uh, tied in there. And they look quite pretty. Now, this was the page that I was going to originally put the, you might have seen at the weekend, I think it was the weekend, um, I sold a little writing set and that was because it was to go in here. It was originally to be a page to go in the journal, but I couldn't stop. <laughs> I just kept adding things to it till it was just ridiculous and it was never going to be a page in a journal. It was quite a separate entity. So um, I sold that on the Etsy shop at the, at the weekend, which is great because that's more funds for the channel. Um, but of course, I still need to fill that page in with something, but I'll come to that. Uh, a butterfly page, some more of the design paper, um, a book, a bird book page, a vellum page. Oh, I love that. I love vellum. Uh, another page that's waiting to be decorated. Um, and one of these lovely um, months of the of the year flowers. Book. I love that book. I'm using it so sparingly, honestly, it's ridiculous. Uh, this page, which is gorgeous, I love that. It's one of my favourites. Uh, this will be the centre spread in here when I get round to there. That's the back of that butterfly page. What a page that is. It's beautiful. And the book that I've shown you already, more to be decorated. Back of the vellum, lovely. Um, the other side of the bird page. And this page, which is waiting to be decorated, the music page, that's a pretty page, I think. I like that one. It's nice. All sewn round, etc. Um, and we're getting now towards things that I haven't done. Um, more of that Flowers of the World book. Beautiful book. Uh, and that's kind of the end of that. So it's still got a lot to, to go on. And this has got even more to go into it. But... That's how, that was the kind of birth of the... Uh... Hilda's thanking you for all your hard work. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Hilda. Um, yeah, I do, I do seem to be journaling. If I'm awake, I'm journaling. <laughs> That's pretty much what's going on here at the moment. I hope you notice my use of this lovely plastic box. This is me really kind of organised and it's amazing because, you know, at the back I've got all my spare papers and the lace I'm using. It's, it's quite not me. I'm quite amazed at myself. Long way at last. But it won't. Which brings us on to today. So today I'm using different papers all together and it's going to set out to be the writing pouch that we did. Uh, it's not going to set out with the intention of being in that that file folder because it's you know different papers so the papers i've used today are 
Oh yeah, just made a load of these on the on the um on the computer and printed them out. If you want if you want, I'll put these on the Facebook page, the um Miss Come on girl. Miss Paints a Lot's Junk Journal Group on Facebook. If you're not a member there, pop over, join. You'll see the same people that you see here and, and a few more as well. Uh, obviously, it's Tuesday afternoon, so Tuesday it's a work day. Some people can't join us today. Um, but they do contribute to the Facebook group, and it's a really lovely group. It's populated with oh, just lovely people, just kind and nice, good-hearted um, generous people so uh, pop over there if you want to and at time to time I put things like this on uh, which I hope will help you all so I'll I will I'll do I'll put this on the Facebook group so it'll be there if you want it um, and of course when you print it out you can shrink it down if you want to or uh, you know do it do what you wish do what you wish with it uh, right so the papers could you pass me those papers there please Mr. Ruff. in printer thank you printer. So, as you know, I have an A3 printer, and I know I'm lucky, um, but I have explained to you before how I came to get it. Lynn Whitman suggested you might need a cup of coffee. <laughs> You're a good girl, Lynn. Did you bring the scones by any chance? Did anybody bring the scones? I can't get blinking berry scones out of my mind. Thanks, Lynn. Um, so on my A3 printer, I printed out some of the pages. These are chapter one papers, and this is not the first time we've used chapter one papers. You might recall when we made that little um, folio, and I still don't know what the difference is, Lynn, but I'm going to call it a folio, that um, I think it had an acetate page in it, and it had uh, a pocket that I covered with lace. Do you remember? Um, we used the chapter one wildflower moments for that. And at the time, I also published the cha uh, published purchased the chapter one garden moments, and I think there's also a kitchen moments that some of you purchased as well. The lovely papers, um, and I think I'm right in saying it was Janet Ann Rosier that used those papers in her collaborative uh, page for the her page for the collaborative journal and uh, they came out very nice so i moseyed over to have a look and see what they were doing and i found three sets i'm sorry guys i was trying to i was trying to not buy any paper at all but in the end i ended up buying three sets and uh, i think the details i'm sure in fact because mr f did it that the details for the chapter one papers the names etc are all underneath uh, this feed so but I'll show you some of them that I've printed out and this isn't by all means not all of them so there's this here which would make a really nice journaling page you know just put that into your journal sew it down there it's a beautiful page but I have different designs for it actually I'm going to make it into a little journal to go into a book oh, writing about um, and they also have this um, this is in the shabby patchwork uh, set and it's the fussy cut sheet and look at that it's like heaven for me it's butterflies and flowers i mean yeah so i've printed that out a couple of times and i spent yesterday evening fussy cutting them while the cricket was on so that was a nice thing to do and this, just this morning i decided i would try a little bit of glitter glue on there I don't know if, if I bring it up, maybe you can see it. It's not really shining very well. But it's I just put just a little bit of glitter glue now. It's not my normal thing, but I thought it might look quite nice on some of those. So I got out this out of my glitter glue drawer. Uh, I'm quite sure I didn't buy it. It must have come from an auction or a charity shop or something. It's Do Crafts one. Uh, and that's what I used for that. But I'm assuming that you won't have that because I think it's probably not even on the market anymore. Um, but any of these products will work. Uh, glitter glues or the... Um, well, this is Dovecraft Pearl Effect. But you can get... Um, pearl... What are they called? Uh, liquid pearls. That's right, these ones, liquid pearls. 
So any of those would, would do the job. I might as well put those away now. Um, if, if that's the route that you fancy going down, you know, obviously it might not be. There is another page that has another sheet of paper in the designs that has these lovely little um, labels. They're really lovely and very, very useful. Uh, there's more than that, but that's just all I've got cut out. And there are some stamps, which I cut out using my um, pinking shears, just to give them a bit of authenticity. Uh, so that's the A3 version of that. What else did I print out on A3? Uh, this, which is another sort of would make another nice journaling page but you know again I want it for something different uh, and some tags these are quite small tags if you print them out on A4 so they're very easily pl uh, placed I just printed these out on A3 and the, they're just beautiful I mean look at this forget-me-not one here it's the gorgeous and this is from the strawberry what's it called strawberry fields strawberry something anyway but that's that's the kind of images that, that you get. And these are the ones that I've printed out so far that I think I'm going to use at some stage. Although, you know, we always print out loads more than we use. So there's that one, which I've kind of cut to size. This one, which is just, I mean, look at it. How useful is that? Loads of little, um, I've forgotten the word. Uh, labels, labels, yeah labels and two even two little heart labels beautiful uh this one this little envelope and a little journal page two more hearts that's pretty isn't it it's so pretty it's such a gorgeous shabby sheet color and then we get into the this is the shabby patchwork and i i, I kind of think to myself although i haven't tried it so i don't know if it works um but if you had a die that was kind of a flower or a punch that was a flower and you punched out newspaper or dictionary pages or something I think that would complement that really nicely but I haven't tried it yet so I'm not sure that works oh thanks Mr. F that's grand thanks a lot <laughs> I'll say no at this juncture because I just don't want to be stuffing my face to see what I'm going to be scoffing. Oh, this is what Mr. F's going to be scoffing. Cadbury's mini rolls. I'm rich and famous. Excellent. <laughs> it's only a family size pack, so they're just for me. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, and this is a pink uh, collage page, page from the Shabby Patchwork. That's the sort of design page, the Shabby Patchwork in the background. And these flowers. I really like them because they're like out of text and they're sewn around. It's really gorgeous, this kit. Uh, the cream version of the shabby patchwork and this one. And this is the one in particular, I think. Dictionary page flowers or something would look great on. It's beautiful. Uh, and that's a background sheet. Just lovely, isn't it? And there's the A4 version of the fussy cut. That, that's the ones that I did last night. That it's deceptive how many there are. Actually, I thought I could knock it out in you know an hour or so, but I was there quite a long time actually fussy cutting these, which is no, I don't mind that. Um, I find it quite relaxing, really. Background sheet. I think that might be the sugared almonds actually, but I can't remember. You'll have to go and have a look. Um, background page. More from the shabby um, patchwork. Can't remember. Oh, it must be shabby patchwork because it matches that. Background. That looks like sugared almonds, I think. Shabby patchwork. This is the straw. I'm going to call it Strawberry Fields. I can't remember if that's its name or not. But look at that page. How deliciously delectably gorgeous is that um, and the page of labels and the envelope right okay so there are more 
there are loads more that's just what i printed out that i thought would be useful to us today saturday sunday whenever yeah i've cut these ones out as well so i'll show you these that's what you get for picking on chocolate rolls choke <laughs> So I've learned the lesson. You can't put three in your mouth at one time. I'll stick to two. All right. Uh, this lovely, which would go beautifully, wouldn't it, down the middle of a tummy tuck? It's beautiful. And there's a whole page of these tags, this size tag, which I kind of also have designs on. A little journaling cards. Look at that. This is probably my favourite in the whole thing. I love that just love it um so i'm just showing you what i've already cut out um there's loads of, of these as well in that shape aren't they pretty oh they are so pretty um so right so now you've seen where i've spent my money um but wasn't wasted was it I mean, they're, they're beautiful, aren't they? I hope you like them. Do people like them? Uh, yes. Good. So it's chapter one papers. I'm not on a, you know, um, I'm not employed by them. I have no axe to grind one way or the other. I could tell you I printed them out and I didn't like them, but that's not the case. They've printed out beautifully, really true colours, good lines, lovely. I'm very, very pleased. So this is going to be our back, the, the back of the whole writing thing. I mean, it will have something on the back, but as far as we're concerned, all the flips come off this page. Oh, yeah, this is another page that you get with all these collage strips on it. Fabulous. Right. So I have cut this too to go in my A4 book. So your, yours will be different. Um, I imagine but if you want to make it this size there's no problem everything will come out of pretty much the a4 pages uh, it's six and three quarters by ten and a half six and three quarters by ten and a half and the first thing that we need to do is put a pocket on it put a pocket on the front and something into the pocket because as we go through each thing that we add we'll make sure we've got all the pockets and everything in place before we move on to the next flippy bit so we need to just decide really what we're going to use as a pocket and i haven't pre-decided this which i possibly should have done because um i've just got so many nice things i just don't know what to choose well, maybe it would help if I chose what I'm going to use as a cover of my journal first. Um, that might be a, a good thing to do. Well, I can't really use that one because it's in light blue and this is to, sort of a duck egg blue. I could use that one. That's beautiful. That would be the front. Yeah, that's a strong contender. Um... That's also got the same problem. It's light blue and that's duck egg. And that, if we put it in, you would only see the top part. So right, we've worked something out. We've worked out that this is gonna be our journal. Excellent. Difficult, isn't it? It's so difficult when you've got so much choice. So as I say, I printed that this was designed to go on an A4 sheet. I've printed it on A3, but the way around that if you want to get the the right size for the the writing pouch that i'm doing is to open up word put this into word and then drag it so you've only just got this sheet on your a4 this part of it then print that out and it'll be the same size i'm sure you all know that so i think i'll use my ruler for this given my cutting skills did you all enjoy mr f's uh, videos at the weekend where well, some very complimentary messages about them um, which is great because he's he's not the most confident of people 
uh, but I thought he did absolutely fabulously and I thought he explained it so thoroughly and I loved that teaching aid that he had, the cardboard, um, the big giant cardboard with the string. I thought that made things really easy to see because it's not a difficult thing once you know how to do it. Like everything, once you know how to do it, it's easy. Um, it's just for the first time kind of seeing where you're going really and when you've got when you, the first, if the first time you're doing it is when you've got a signature attached to it and it's quite heavy and you're trying to struggle with your needle um, you, you're just going to put yourself off so I think it's a good idea to make one of these little journals like we're about to make now um, they they go into journals really nicely will enhance any journal and it's good practice for the pamphlet stitch so that's going to be our journal really in an ideal world i should have printed this on both sides but i didn't right so bone fold. So give that a good crease down there. That's pretty and I think it'll look nice on our background. Yeah. It's a pretty overload this set, these sets. They're really gorgeous. Um and I'm just checking that that's square. Yeah. So the ink that I've decided to use this time is called uh tattered rose and it's a really really light pink. I didn't want anything that was going to be garish. With the blue, I used faded jeans, which is quite a dark blue. And I think the paper stood that very well and it really enhanced it. But this time I just want a little light dusting, a little kiss of my ink. So I'm just going to, you know, you can see, you can see it's been inked, um, but it's just not, not dark. I mean, of course, you can choose any papers you like from any vendor at all. There are so many out there, honestly. It's mind-boggling. I don't, I don't know why I go on Etsy. I just don't know. Because um, it's seldom I come off there without buying anything. What I really need to do is go through all my files. I have actually... Um, put them onto a, all onto a memory stick now. So if something awful happens to my MacBook, I've still got all my files because there's, you know, it's a lot of money's worth there. So, but what I need to do really is tidy them up. Even if I just tidied them into vendors, you know, this is my porch prints, this is chapter one sort of thing. Even that would be a, a start. So I'm just going to ink the insides as well. As I say, if I double printed this, well, that's what I would advise you to do, actually, double print it, because this white is very white. But I'll put some stencils on it, and it, will, um, it, and it won't look too bad. So what is everybody busy with? Has everybody finished their little golden books? In a, in a couple of weeks' time, I'll get you, everybody that wants to swap, uh, I'll get you to put your name in the uh, Miss Paint a Lot's Facebook uh, group. And we'll see. We're only swapping within countries. We're not swapping internationally. Um, so I'll just put everybody's name in from the UK, for example, and randomly pull out who they're going to swap with. I know that some of you have done them and... Hello. Maybe. Some of you have done them and you don't want to swap them, that's fine. Um, don't put your name in, in that case. Just after my little stencil. I would like to know what weight of paper. 160 grams is what this is. So I've just got my little stencil 
um I don't know if I can can you do it with this brush I don't know if you can or you can yeah you can oh that's nice it's a lovely color this tattered rose I like it a lot so I'm not going to put too much of it around just something to break that whiteness but I would as I say I, re I would recommend that you uh, double print it shove it back through the printer on the other side and then you won't have this problem that's ever so subtle but really really nice it's a very nice color this tattered rose so that's just taking the uh, the plainness off it a little bit Yeah, 160 uh, carry, carry is what I normally use. I do use, and I will be filling this uh, journal, the pages that I use to fill a journal will be 90 GSM. That's just a sort of slightly heavier weight photocopy paper. Um, and I have just recently, although I haven't used it yet, bought some 120 gram which is kind of midway, as you can work out yourself, between the 90 and the 160, just to see what it's like. Because sometimes I think, you know, when you've got two sheets of this stuck together, it doesn't need to be that thick, really, I don't think. The paper that I use, can you pass me up that? Um, is the 120 there or the 160? Uh, that's 120. Yeah, no, just the A4 as well. The A4 oh. over there, that, that's it, yeah. This is, this is what I use, um, Ray, R-E-Y, text and graphics. And it really do. I mean, it, it advertises itself as holding a really black black. And it does. It definitely does. And the colours, they're excellent. I'm very pleased with them. We did at one stage buy some more expensive paper than this. And actually, when we printed out two copies side by side, this was a better image so that's what I use and it's one 160 so there we are that's that put that down there okay so that's now dry so oh isn't that so nice I'm loath to kind of put anything on the front of that I don't I don't think it needs it does it does it need anything would it benefit by having a rose added to it for example I don't think so how about a butterfly well, you can't really go wrong with butterflies, can you? I like that. Let's see what else I've got. My box of goodies. Well, my lid of goodies, actually. So that one's a bit smaller. That one's kind of mid-sized. I like to think that you're all crafting along with me. And I know that's uh, probably stupid because you can't really. You can't craft and watch. Uh, and you can't be doing what I'm doing because you didn't know until just now what, what I was doing and I still don't. <laughs> uh, I'm just laying out a load of butterflies. I'm laying out a load of butterflies here and let's have a look and see what goes with what, shall we? Right, let's, let's get these off and then we'll audition. So I quite like that blue on there. It's nice quite like it quite like it there actually uh, I've got a big yellow one ooh that's nice that picks up all this yellow but it's maybe a wee bit too big what about down there yeah that's nice or I've got this one and then I've got different blues mm -mm. got a giant blue that's just silly I'm kind of going to go for the yellow, I think. I, I like the yellow. Um, so do I like that one? It's a bit big, I think. That one. That one goes really nicely with it all, actually. Or that one. 
You know, when you go to the opticians, this is what this always reminds me of. And the opticians puts those ridiculous glasses on, on you and he keeps sliding lenses in and out. And he'll say, which is better, A or B? One or two? <laughs> and you have to keep saying, you know, whichever is the better, obviously. And this is what this reminds me of. Which is better, A or B? I can't really tell much difference. Okay, B or A. <laughs> That's what it's like. <laughs> Don't you think? Can you see what I mean? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, right. I still haven't blinking decided. I like that. I'm going with that one. <laughs> after all that deliberation. So what I'm going to do is just take my ink and it's just a light colour as you know but I just want to get rid of the white around the edge where you've actually cut it because it shows up when you stick it on and it looks nasty. So it's just the lightest little touch around the edge just to get rid of that white. Pat says last time she was crafting while listening you said you hadn't got a full attention so she's not doing it again. <laughs> 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 sorry Pat <laughs> I'm so sorry oh dear now you know what Mr F has to put up with I'm, I'm really quite mean <laughs> and Flo's making a big pot of meatballs oh here we go we're on to the food meatballs what are we having for tea tonight um, chicken and baguette. Oh yeah, chicken <laughs> and baguette. Yeah, yesterday whilst he was shopping, Mr. F came home with a load of, um, well, chicken drumsticks really. Like loads of them, because they were reduced and he thought we could put them in the freezer. Um, but we decided what we're going to do is, we're going to just cook them all up. And we're going to just... That's it. That's what tea's going to be, just cooked uh, chicken. And he's just been out this morning and he's got a baguette. So we're going to have just chicken and baguette. And that's it. Just dig in until you're full. Call it a day. Yeah, that's nice on there. I like that. Bacchanalian oh. feast. A bacchanalian. Mm -hmm. No, there's no wine or anything like that involved. Oh. But, but um, yeah, because Bacchus, wasn't he the Greek god of wine? Yeah. Yeah. So no, no wine involved for us. Right, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm getting some paper. I couldn't think of the god of chicken. Though. No, I can't off the top of my head. <laughs> One, two, three. I'm going to need more than that because this is a writing set. Colonel Sanders. Oh, he, <laughs> yeah. He's the Greek god of chicken. Colonel Sanders. Right, so I've got five sheets. So when these are folded over, we'll have ten. By my reckoning. And I need them to be slightly smaller than this book. That the book cover that they're going into. So I'm just going to get one because I can't get them all to lie flat. And I'd like it to be just a little bit. An eighth of an inch in from the bottom, eighth of an inch in from the top, that sort of thing. So a quarter of an inch all the way around, less than the cover. Same thing here. So just make your marks there. Lovely. This is going to be very similar. <laughs> well, let's hope the outcome's as good as Sundays where you... Uh, watched pamphlet stitch so sorry guys a bit of repetition going on here so I'm just going to cut that side off there I'm not exactly certain I've got these all squared up but I'll take a chance then I want to trim this end my desk is absolutely rammed with stuff today. 
wanted to show you some of those papers because uh, I just fell in love with them. In fact, I, I felt so moved by them that I felt I had to email the the uh, designers and tell them how much I liked them. Which I did. Right, let's chop that then. Hopefully it's something like straight. And then I'm actually going to half each one independently because otherwise I don't, it never works for me if I do them en masse. I was thinking about you, Pat, actually, and I, th I think is it Carrie as well that's got uh, one of those scan and cut jobbies, um, those fuzzy cut pages that took me, you know, hours and hours to do. You could have had them done in next to no time. And then, you've, you know, you've always got them. Because of the sort of things I think that you you know well me personally flowers and butterflies they would pop up quite often in things that I would be making be it with chapter one papers or otherwise but I'm going to have a good look through their papers because I got so enamoured with those ones that are bought that I didn't really no I'm not I'm not what am I saying. What am I saying? That I'm going to go there and buy some more? No. No. It's a horribly dark day here today. And it really does feel like summer has gone. Um, and I suspect this stage in September, it probably has. We haven't, up here, we haven't had the best of summers. I think down south it's probably been quite nice and quite hot actually but we've had I think we had two days not even back to back where it was let's open the windows <laughs> but apart from that um, you know there's been lots of evenings we've had to put the fire on which is ridiculous so there we are that's that and when you do that you'll see that they just walk a little bit this is what Mr. F was telling you about at the weekend. So I'm just going to put my ruler down there and cut those off because they're just going to annoy me otherwise. So square it up with the back of the book, the fold. And just cut, cut them off. And there we go. So, right, this is our middle page, so we're going to make the markings for the holes. Can I borrow your book bindery kit, do you think? It's not mine. You seem to be hoarding it and hanging on to it like it's crown jewels. I know, you like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I don't get many shiny things for myself. Oh, no, you don't. You live a hard life. So let's have, uh, let's measure this then. This measures so just over seven and a quarter. So that's three and a half and an eight. So three and five eighths. So I'm going to put a mark on the spine there at three and five eighths. Then I'm going to come up, um, bearing in mind that this is just inside my journal cover, but I'm going to come up at three quarters of an inch mark a hole there and come down three quarters of an inch and mark a hole there That's fine and i'm going to use for mine i'm not going to use the wax the lovely wax thread that comes in here because i'm going to save this <laughs> we're awful as crafters aren't we we're forever hoarding stuff um, I'm going to save it for when we're doing actual sig putting signatures in journals and stuff. Oh, look, they provide you with a little ring as well. Oh, that's nice. Um, right, I'm going to use my cotton perle crochet cotton. I am going to use one of these needles out of here. 
doesn't have to be the thickest one. Uh, Ellen Adams says she brought some Pilot Friction pens today in Ryman's. Apparently they were off price. Oh, excellent. Do you remember? Oh, you, no, I'm, I'm old, much older than most folk. But when I was a kid, that brought a uh, man from Uncle was on the telly. Remember that him? Ilya Kuryakin. Ilya Kuryakin. Mr. Solo. Yes. <laughs> And uh, they used to receive and send messages in invisible ink. <laughs> and um, my sister, more so than me, but me also, we wanted some invisible ink and we chewed on and chewed on to our parents until we actually, I don't know, it was some sort of cartridge that you got to go in your fountain pen and you could write in it, quite the opposite to Frixian actually, you could write in it, but when you heated it up, you could see what was written. It's like magic. We loved it. We used to send each other messages all the time. Not that I had anything particularly to say to her, really, but. We had a coal fire back then, and uh, I can't get this needle to thread. I'm going to move on to one of my bigger eyed needles because I can't get it through there. Um, there is small and big needles in uh, the pot. I've obviously got. You picked a small one, I think. Oh, who hasn't put my sewing thing back? Sitting here somewhere. Okay. My bad. It is your bad. Not like you. Oh, here it is. Hidden by everything else that's here. Let's try this one. Right, so there's my needle threaded. I've got my marks in my book. Uh, I need my pokey stick out of that gorgeous set. I know quite a few of you bought that set over the weekend and I can tell you, you won't be disappointed. It, it really is good. So I need pop these into here where I kind of want them to go clip them in I'm not going to use my paper clips only because these are already on the desk and I can't get anything else on the desk right so just like Mr uh, Yoga mat, yoga mat, yoga mat. You can see I'm really organised for today. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. You deserve better than this. You really do. Um, you're so loyal to me and I'm just waffling away. So push that out through the hole that we marked and it's coming out through the spine of the little journal, which is excellent. And again there. And again there. So there we have it, our three holes, and it's going to be a three hole pamphlet stitch. Nothing as jazzy as Mr. F's. So that comes out through there. And somebody, when Mr. F was doing it, came out with a brainwave of why don't you just clip the tail of the of the thing into one of your clips, which I thought was a genius idea. <laughs> So I'm going to use that now. I can't remember who it was, but whoever it was, thanks very much. Um, back in through this one. See, some of you put buttons on your spine. Uh, that's a really nice idea. And we had actually thought of doing that ourselves, but we thought that it might be too complicated, too much information for the very new beginners. So we opted not to, but the for those of you that have done it with your uh, little golden books, it looks beautiful. I love it. And because they're children's books, it's particularly, uh, you know, a nice idea to do. Right, so let's just make sure we've got everything tight. Let's hold on to that. Pull that. I think we're okay. 
and I've got one each side of the central long stitch and I'm just going to put some knots in my thread now because I find it easier to do it when I've got a bit of length rather than when I'm dealing with just some short little little bit but we all have our ways we find our own ways don't we for doing everything that's kind of crafting isn't it that's the that's what crafting's about working out your own solutions to how you want to reach somewhere so okay we're nice and tight tie a knot over there right over left left over right as mr f was saying a little bow and some people put uh, decorations on the ends of their threads which look very nice i really like it it's lovely um, but I'm just going to leave mine like that. So there we are. We have made a little a little booklet. Very neat down the side there. And that will, with a butterfly on it, lovely, lovely, jubbly. So I'm going to put things away where they should be put away. They will go in the sewing drawer. There's your tip back. Thanks very much. A clip away right we've, we've done something we've achieved something um don't don't forget at the end can you put that up on facebook please thank you very much uh yeah i guess so yes in fact so that's going to go there so what we need now is a pocket to put to put it in <laughs> obviously so which paper are we going to use for that oh my goodness Well, is there any paper that doesn't go? This is kind of the nice bit though, isn't it? You get to look at and feel your papers. And people that don't do this won't understand that. They'll think you're a bit gone in the head. But feeling, looking at them, oh, such a joy. I quite like that blue one. I quite like that pink one. See, usually if I was organised, I've had I would have had all this done. Oh, I like that a lot. Um, and you just see me sticking them all together. That might be the one. You know, not going through all this. Actually, that is the exact same colour as that. So. That's the favourite at the moment. Right, okay. That is the favourite. And the winner is. So let's just have a look and see if there's anything on here that is an up and a down. That's text, that's text, 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 and they're all going that way. So I think I need to cut my paper this way to get the text in the right that's not, that's going the other way, but everything else is going up this way. So let's just, um, let's just cut this at the way I want it. I'm actually going to cut that edge off because I don't, I don't like the, um, the way it fades away there. So I'm just going to cut it off. Make sure I get it fairly square. And I'm going to cut the top bit off as well for the same reason. In certain circumstances I'd like it, but just because it's a pocket and it's not going to be all the way around, I don't think it'll look right. So... Yeah, that's better, isn't it? That's nicer. So how deep do I want my pocket? Well, here's my little journal. I'd like to be sort of seeing some of it. So 
as, but I still want to decorate the pocket as well. So I think there is good, and I'll tell you what that measures. That measures four and three quarters. So that's how deep my pocket's going to be, four and three quarters. But I'm going to add on an extra half inch. I could have left that on the top, couldn't I? To fold over, just to give even more substance to that. So four and three quarters plus half an inch is five and a quarter. So I'm going to cut that off at five and a quarter. And I'm also going to gusset this uh, at the sides. So it's got the thickness to take this book. So that's where I want it to come to. But I want it an inch more than that. I'm in a tangle with my rulers because I didn't put them back. There we go. Right. So where's my mark? My mark is there and I want an additional inch so I can fold over half an inch. Right, there's my mark. Want an extra inch. I'm just gonna have to make my mark bigger because this is just ridiculous. Straighten it up along the bottom. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Chop that off. Keep that, it's a good good scrap that one. So I said I wanted it four and three quarters, but I want to fold a bit in at the top and I want to gusset it at the bottom. So that means it's gonna be five and three quarters. That was hard maths, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness, what's four and three quarters plus an inch? <laughs> so there we go. I think I finally got my pocket cut just have a final check make sure it's what we want before we commit to anything yeah that's lovely isn't it do you think i think that looks lovely i really like it i love i love this cover love it let's have a swig of coffee Pat's got to go. She's got a visitor. Hmm. She hasn't got people very well, well, very well trained. Right, so I'm just going to get my scoreboard out for this and my little, uh, my small bone folder that came with it. And I'm literally going to measure a score at half an inch all the way around. We could do it live on making a door anger. You know, one of these things you put on the door like an hotel. <laughs> yeah. For people to go do not away. disturb. Do not disturb. Watching Miss P and Mr. F, if you know what's good for you, don't ring the bell. Yeah, we could. Visitors. It's always so nice to see them go. <laughs> <laughs> It can't just be me. Maybe, maybe it is just me. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna fold these in first. That's the direction that they're not gonna be ultimately. But you get a better better fold when you fold them back on themselves. If you folded them in first, I find anyway. Right. So now we've got those. You can see that we've got in each corner we've got a little cross, if you like. So take your scissors and go right into the centre of the cross, change your angle and come out again on all four, all four bits. This is quite a large pocket and I'm sure that we can get away with decorating it actually. I mean, why wouldn't we? <laughs> right, so let's, well, which is the top? This is the top. Let's fold this in first and uh, stick that down. 
Let's give that a good crease down. And what this is doing is it's just doubling up on the strength of that paper because this is the bit that's going to take the strain really um, and you don't want it to tear because I, do, I don't think 160 would tear to be honest with you but if you're using thinner paper certainly always do that at the top of your pockets because um, it would look you know you'd feel awful if they tore, if they tore in someone's hand wouldn't you so fold that over this is the best tip ever from uh, Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah to use a dry wet wipe. It's just fabulous. It sort of picks up all the excess glue and leaves it beautifully clean. Um, right, so now we can fold all those in and ink them. That just needs another little bit off there. It's just going to catch. This is a time to do all those things, you know, if, if if you need to trim a little bit extra off, now's the time to do it. Because it's too late once you put it on and you think, oh, I wish I'd done that now. And that one again. Try and be as perfect as you can. And I, I, I know that's not everybody's idea of a junk journal. I know that some, you know, some people like it to be really junky. <laughs> and, you know, that's that's kind of the name of the game. I mean, it is a junk journal. But that's not me. I, I can't be like that. I've tried. I really did try. I mean, I particularly love Artie Mays. I love the things that, she's, that she does. I love how, th how her things look. They're just fabulous. And... I decided that I would do a journal like hers using some of her ideas but I just couldn't do it I, I just couldn't so I'm going to ink around this and then I'm going to sew around it you don't have to sew the sewing is purely aesthetic purely I do like this tattered rose it's nice and light, but it is just a hint of pink. It's a bit difficult, isn't it, buying ink from the internet? Because the picture on the front, you know, the picture they show you, it never seems to be a very good likeness. You know, when you get it home and you try it, you know, that's not what I wanted. I did that lots of times with the blue and ended up with loads of sort of aqua type colours but nothing that was actually blue. In the end, I got the tattered, uh, no, no, faded jeans, and they were perfect. Right, I'm just going to go around here as well. Sorry if this is boring for you. On Saturday, I'll have everything much more organised, and you won't have to watch me. I will. <laughs> I, I usually am more organised than this, aren't I? Yes, dear. Because <laughs> I think that you don't need to see me working things out and whatever. Certainly don't need to see me inking stuff, do you really? This bit down here should be okay if we've got our pocket measurement just right, but if we haven't, you'll see it. So I'll just give it a quick quick going over right so there we are let's see how accurate we are oh my goodness we're stunningly accurate it's incredible <laughs> what I'm going to do before I'm going to sew across here that's the only bit of sewing I'm going to do at the moment and I'll come back to you uh, then well actually I'm not going away because I'm here I'm sewing cam Hilda says, please relax, Fiona, we enjoy watching you. Oh, thank you, Hilda. I think the problem is there is a lot of lives and videos out there where people just say they've done something, but they don't actually show you doing it. 
And if you're a beginner, it's not yeah. the easiest way to learn, is it? Well, on our Facebook group, we've got a lot of beginners. I think COVID spawned, you know, a whole new junk journaling generation, really. Um, and, you know, when people join up, they have to answer three questions. You know, they're not rocket science questions. Just, you know, do you sell your junk journals? How long have you been junk journaling? That sort of thing. And the vast majority, vast majority on our beginners or new beginners have only been doing it a couple of months. They've only been doing it since COVID, that sort of thing. And there's not a great deal of, of point in me coming on here and saying, well, you know how to put a gusset in a pocket and you know how to do this because actually they probably don't. So I'm sorry for all you experienced people. Uh, and I know there are many of you as well, um, but it's important that we get, we bring everybody with us, all of us together. So hopefully you'll enjoy, you know, just the sort of social aspect of it, if you like. I enjoy that. I, I love it. It's we're like a big social group, I think. Um, and you'll forgive me for, for going so quite so slowly. Right, so if we're going to put something on this pocket now, before we actually sew it down all the way around, what should we put on it? Well, this is going to be the centre because it's going to have two flaps that fold out there, one flap that folds down, and one flap that folds up. So this is going to be the centre. And as Mr. Fix, it's always saying, you know, you've built the drama. You've got a flap. You've got a flap, flap, flap. When you get to the middle, you want it to be worth the journey. <laughs> he, all, he says that to me often, actually, when I'm doing something like this. So, yes, I do want it to be worth the journey. I love that journal. I really do, actually. Um, but I would like there to be something on here that just lifts it a little bit as well. So let's have a look and see what do we got. Who have we got? Ah, oh, Carol Vaughan. I haven't seen you for ages, I don't think. Hiya. Um, Mr. F. Chocolate. Mm. I haven't had any since this morning. <laughs> I was going to say. For ages and then I remembered that actually I had some m and uh, chocolate. That's your fault, Kerry. I'm blaming this entirely on you, on your shoulders. You've got us going to m and again. Um, some m and salted caramel millionaire shortbread. <laughs> Does that sound nice? Because <laughs> I can tell you it was. <laughs> it's delicious. What about that envelope on there? What about that, guys? <clears throat> Let's cut it out and see what happens. Just thinking slightly outside the box here because I don't know if it's the perfect place for an envelope or not, but we'll see. I love all these little inclusions with this kit. I love it. All the labels and stuff. And some of the tags are just beautiful. And I'm saying this kit because um, they're all melded into one in my mind now. I know that in the past, and actually I've just come across a half-finished one a couple of minutes, you know, before I came on. Um, I've done boho in the past, but my favourite of all, my favourite of anything, style for home deco, anything, is shabby chic. I just, I just love it. I really, really love it. Okay, so I think that's all right. Let's just cut these little side bits out. This is pretty as well, isn't it? Pretty, pretty. Don't want any of that white showing if I can help it. Although that's why you buy ink, really. <laughs> huh? 
Is everybody all right? I believe so. They're very quiet. I've bored them into submission. <laughs> I think they're paying attention because you've told them off before. Oh no. <laughs> I don't tell people off. Well, my... Right, so let's just... That looks like it might could do with another hair off it there. Makes it interesting fussy cutting when you shake. <laughs> when you've got shaky hands. Right, let's try that and see uh, see what happens. Do I need to? No, I'm, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. So I'm going to use the lines that are on the, uh, the printout. And I'm going to be committed and use my bone folder. So I can't really go back. And this is the bottom. And there. I've just got a little bit sticking out there, so I just it's just a whisker, but I don't want it. That's fine there. And then it's just the top to fold in. I'll just leave the top for a moment. Doesn't that look pretty? Is that going to look pretty on our on our thingamajig? Yeah, I think that's just about the right size, don't you? Yeah, I think that's fine. And I've also got the strips that are cut off the back. That's a bit, 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 bit too much. I've got this one that came with the kit that I could use just to pop it down into. Oh, that's so nice. Or oh, I've got all these collage strips that came as well. But I think they're probably all the... Because I printed them on A3, you see, they're just a bit too too big, I think. Now I'm going to stick with the, with this one simply because it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. Right, so the only thing that I need to stitch on, I don't want to stitch around here actually because I'll, I'll lose some of the butterflies, so I don't want to do that. So let me just fold, oh no, I left it so I could ink it before I stick it, that's right. And I need to get my little rose stencil, hello, here you are. Forgive me if I sneeze. I've got a feeling I'm going to sneeze. Um, just a bit of kitchen towel. I've been demoted from the really expensive stuff to the just plain white. Because <laughs> that's using too much of it. Right, let's just see if I've got enough ink on the thingy. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? That's fine. Once again, you know, if you really wanted to, you could uh, you print on both sides of this and then, you you know, that would look really nice when you open it. But I think we're going to be all right. We're modelling along all right, really, I think. Don't you think? Do you think, Mr F, we're modelling along all right? I think you are. You're going somewhere. We don't know where. We don't know when, but we'll get there one day. We certainly don't know when. <laughs> we don't know when at all. <laughs> I'm not the world's fastest junk journaler. I never said I was. I'm just not. Um, what's going to be showing on this? Quite a bit, so I'll just I'll link away merrily. You can't see a great deal of it, to be honest, because... The papers come sort of distressed, if you like. So you don't have to ink it at all. You cut it, you ink it. You cut it, you ink it. And you know, it's all for the sake of completeness. <laughs> for, 
For those of you that don't know why I say for the sake of completeness, in my real life, um, when I was working, I was a scientist and we used to um, do experiments on, on things and you'd have the results and you'd pass the results up the line to your line manager, I suppose you'd call her. Um, and you'd think, great, that's that finished, done with that, move on to the next. And then you come in in the morning and stuck on your computer screen was this absolute array of yellow post-it notes that all say, oh, can you just run one, three and five again? Oh, can you, while you're doing that, you might as well run two and four again, just for the sake of completeness. And it was like a three day job, just for the sake of completeness. So it kind of got into my, under my skin then, and I do say it a lot now. <laughs> There we are. So I can stick that down now. I'll fold this in first. Just along that line. That's there. Fold that down. And we'll glue this. Glues to finish with my ink to put the lid on. Definitely don't want it to dry out because it's a brand new pack. So just down the edge of the just up the edge of here. You know, I watch dozens, dozens and dozens and dozens of YouTube videos of people doing various things with paper. And it strikes me that every time anybody glues something, they say, and you just glue around here and around it. And if you're doing a pocket or something, you know, just around the bottoms and the sides. And they say it every time. And I say it. We all say it. And everybody blowing knows it. That's where you're going to glue. But I don't know. We feel that we have to say something to fill in that time when we're gluing. So there we are. That is cute. That is extreme cuteness, I think. So really, there's not much, not a great deal of sewing going on as yet. Let's see then. So that's going to go onto there. And we're going to hold it with this little band here. So if I wanted to get it, have a butterfly on each end, I'd need it that wide. Mm. Might have to end up printing this one again, because I can see me wanting to use it. So if I used just... That might work. That would work. The flowers. Yeah, so I'll cut that down there. Just there. And I've still preserved some. Look. <laughs> That's another thing we do. I mean, we... we There's no way I'd get rid of that ever, probably. And I might never use it because it's the last bit I've got. I could go and print a hundred of them. Oh, we are a funny lot. Right, so I want this in the middle. Okay, so let's let's get that centered. So it says there that that's an inch and three eighths, and that is an inch and one eighth. So I need to budget that way a little bit. So now it says an inch and a quarter, and just a smidge over an inch and a quarter. So just like there. Right, okay. So that's where I want it to be. No, 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 that's not what I'm doing. I want to put this, I want to mark where this is going, don't I? So I want that there, right. So if my um, envelope is central, which it should be, this is where this needs to go, down there and down there. Okay, still got a little bit of a line on the edge there. Right, so I can stick that on and then I could sew it if I wanted to. But I don't, I don't think it needs sewing, if I'm honest with you. So I'm going to stick that on there and I'm going to try and get that 
level so I'm just going to use my ruler trick and that's one and seven eighths in from the bottom and that's where I'm going to stick it to there and I've got my little marks on either side excellent so I'm just going to put um, some fabri -Tac because I don't want this to come off and I'm not saying that Aileen's would come off it's just with fabri -Tac you can rest easy um, because the pocket would come off before the, before this would come off okay the fabri -Tac doesn't want to work I should have an emergency pin around here somewhere, but it's literally like finding a needle in a haystack. I might have to get a second emergency pin out. Wow, that's impressive that I know where they are. just letting me do it and I haven't even inked it you cut it you ink it you naughty rule number one <laughs> you cut it you ink it <laughs> heaven's sake for the sake of Pete why do people say that Pete's sake why do they say that I don't know I mean, who is Pete? That's what I want to know. Yeah, you cut it, you ink it, guys. Right, that's done. And it does look better for being inked. So let's just check that that's still on one and seven eighths. Yes, let's put my fabric tack on, just like it never happened. So there we go. Um, there is an up and a down to this, so let's make sure I get it right. I'm going by the mark that I made. Pushing it down to the flush with that ruler. And there you go. My rubber out, my eraser. Get rid of those marks. So there we are. So hopefully, this is going to fit in there. Oh, look at that. I think it was made to measure. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. Um, right, so now then, we just need to glue this pocket onto here I can remove that for the moment and I will put a, a journaling card in there definitely there's no way that that's getting away without having something put in there and if you find that when you look at all the things from um, your chapter one papers that there isn't anything small enough I think there is actually but off the top of my head I can't think what but if you can't find anything small enough to go into there actually where's the blinking what about this she knows that will go into that that was designed to go into there <laughs> let's just do that shall we <laughs> let's just pretend i'm not a numpty and i kind of know what i'm doing I thought at the time when I was doing it, I thought, I bet that fits into there, and then I forgot all about it. So I hope you're enjoying this afternoon. I, I, you know, I appreciate we're not getting a whole load of journaling done. And it is Tutorial Tuesday, and it was, it was kind of meant to be 
within the confines of Tuesday is what it was meant to be. And a tutorial. <laughs> a tutorial and stay within Tuesday. <laughs> We're missing on both scores because this is going way past Tuesday, I can tell you. It may be even still here next Tuesday. Who knows, eh? No, I'll try and crack on with it. Well, but in it... Australia, you probably started on Tuesday and ended up on Wednesday. <laughs> Right, I've cut it so you know what happens. Correct. I could hear you from here. We're going to get some bumper stickers made, apparently. So you cut it, yank it. <laughs> all for the sake of completeness. <laughs> all for the sake of completeness. <laughs> yeah. I think that if you've got, it, got bumper stickers that say you cut it, you ink it, it could be misconstrued as you were driving through some gangland somewhere. Do you know what I mean? You cut it, you ink it. Sounds a bit... Because I spend a lot of time driving through gangland places. <laughs> oh, please. I've just had an idea I could back that onto... Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Oh, this is just getting expanded and expanded. It's going ridiculous. Right, I wonder a bit of... Have we got any lined paper left? Let me use it all, actually. Let's just have a look. I thought I had some. This was the, the thing. Remember I put on my Facebook group that Mr F came through and said to me, is this any good to you? Just when you thought you had them trained, eh? Then you find out that you haven't. No, I haven't got any lined paper. But that's not the end of the world. This week, we are going to have a big sort out again. Because remember those cardboard boxes that I bought? Well, they're more like trays in all honesty than boxes. But they'll do, they'll do the job just to kind of get us sorted out a little bit. So, you know, we'll have one for um, toppers, because I seem to have a lot of them. Um, one for envelopes, one for, you know, you know all the stuff we have that is necessary to life, to be honest. Right, so let's just stick that on there. And it'll look better inside. This is just paper, 90 GSM. coffee stain and it does tend to wrinkle on the back unless I mean you might like that look but if you don't uh, get get a good flat bone folder like this and this is the one that came in the um, book bindery set which I've now um, purloined. purloined for myself but it really is a fabulous bone folder it's really good and flat and doesn't catch on anything because my little one before, it sort of bit into the paper in, in places and sometimes it would actually tear the paper, which is, as you'd say in Scotland, a scunner. Well, we're going to get the, front, the back page done, aren't we? So, I mean, that's an achievement. You know, because we've gone through all the papers and everything. Do you think, Mr. Trev? I do think we've achieved an awful lot. Do you? Mm. Blame. Thanks. Right, so I'm just going to ink around here because I cut it, so I'm inking it. I could sew around here and I might. Uh, I'm not going to do it at the moment. You know, we are nearly into Wednesday. <laughs> no, we're not. So I'm just going to fold that over. Actually, I'm going to use the back probably as a judge. Because I don't know that it was ever designed to be completely square. I suppose if you had an hairdresser and a tattoo studio, you'd have to be careful saying that. You cut it, you ink it. <laughs> I was thinking of tattoo studio, actually, when you said that. Right, so there's my little um, little booklet, 
you could add extra into there if you wanted to um it's not it's not quite square and i don't know if i can actually live with that i did cut it out where the thing was but i don't, I don't think i can so i'm gonna to have to cut that off um, but I don't think it was designed to be square. I think it was designed to have that shabby look about it. Um, but I just, it's too much for me. <laughs> it's just, if I say it's too much for my OCD, it sounds like I'm belittling OCD, which is a very serious illness. Um, but I, I can't live with that. And look at that. Just slides in there beautifully. Now you could stencil inside it. You could add more pages to it. Bear in mind, it's got to fit in the envelopes. Don't go too mad. Um, so the question now is, do we want to put that in that way? That looks nice. Looks, you know, like an envelope, a proper envelope. Or that way, which is even prettier. I leave that decision to you, dear readers. <laughs> I can't remember what program that's off. <laughs> Who was it that used to say that, dear readers? Charlotte Bronte or something like that. Oh, it was Charlotte Bronte, yes. I knew her well. Readers in the end, I married him. Yes, like that. yes, that's right. I'm going to use double-sided on here because, and a bit of Fabri-Tac actually, because this is where the journal is going to go into and I don't, you know, we just don't want this coming off. And I have spent all my time since you've known me telling you to get the, the bottom bit last on and... I've actually decided of late that it's easier if you put the bottom bit in. It it wants to bow out better. So bottom bit goes in first, then the side bit's over the top. Okay? So I think I've been telling you the wrong way. What, what, what? The bottom, whether you took the bottom in first or the sides on a gusseted pocket. Uh, the sides? That's what you'd think. But when you try it in actuality, it's easier if you put the bottom in first. It makes it easier for the, because I think the pressure of that forces that up. I don't know how it works, but it works. So I've tried it. Right, so that goes down, that goes there. We want a bit of double sided onto there. If you haven't got double sided tape, don't worry. Do not worry. Um, you know, Fabri-Tac was invented for situations such as this, so, you know. What was that? What was that noise? I have no idea. It sounded like a crow in distress. Uh, it sounded like somebody drilling into a brick wall. Oh. Uh, what it sounded like to me. Oh, right. But I'm no expert. Well, it could be. What are they drilling on? Why are they drilling on a wall? <laughs> Seems a logical question. Right, so just pick that off. And I think you can see now that that does want to come forward. And it just seems to work better. That, that's all I'm saying. That's what I've found. So I'm now going to put some Fabri-Tac on this as well. Just so it just gives you a slight chance to move it a little bit. Whereas the double sided, once it's on, it's on for life. And somebody, one of you guys told me about this. Um, to put a little bit of glue over it. And you just get a second or two's working time. Which is good. Which is about all I can manage these days. To second, work for a second or two, yeah. Second of two working time. Yes. So let's get that right in the corner. And that one right in the corner. And look at that, dear readers. Blimey. Right, so what I am going to do is... That's the thread from where I did the pocket. So I'm just, it just wants to come undone. So I'm just putting a little, little dab of glue on there because otherwise um, it'll drive me bonkers. 
cut the ends off. Right, so now I'm going to sew around the whole shooting match. The whole thing. Everything's inked, everything's ready to go. So I'm just going to sew around all of it, just in a straight stitch. Oh, shovel myself over here. And I'm going to start um, where the pocket joins on because I want to reverse over it. Just, you know, it's got, <laughs> it's got double sided, it's got fabric tag, and now it's going to have two rows of stitches on it. So um, this pocket ain't never going nowhere. Let's hope anyway. step the mark this this isn't ideal you don't want to be stitching over um, wet glue really to be honest and if you have the choice um, go make yourself a coffee while it dries and then come back and sew it So when we get up to this uh, top or edge of this pocket, I'm going to come over, reverse back, just over that edge and then go forward again. So it's double sewn, it's triple sewn actually. And I know this isn't sewing anything to anything, but it looks good. It, it looks nice, which is why I do, you know, largely why I sew anyway. Um, not, pretty much never really to strengthen anything to anything just uh, make it look nice let's have a look then let's have a look and see what we've got I've got threads sticking to me goodness what time is it please mr F? it is half past three Children. right what have we done today <laughs> today we have made well this would make in itself a lovely page for a journal don't you think so you needn't go on any further th than this, to be honest. Um, I'm going to put mine in that way, but you could put it in either way. So we've got the backing page for our um, envelope, pouch, writing set, whatever. We made a journal to go in it. We've made this pocket, which coordinates beautifully. And then we've got this lovely duck egg blue envelope with this little tummy tuck here. Love it. It's lovely. I love it. I really do. What do you guys think? Is it is it too shabby chic for you? Um, or, or do you think we're all right? So as I say, if you're doing a, a junk journal that's this sort of size or half the size and you can work the measurements out, that would make a really, really nice page, I think, for a junk journal. I wouldn't be disappointed. Uh, in getting a junk journal that had that page in it. I think it's nice. So I think that we are, let's have a look and see what people are saying. Sweet Pea, that's Terry, isn't it? I think, how many days a week are there live tutorials? Tuesday, Saturday and Sunday, I'm in the US and need, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, you need to set an alarm, my love. Um, yes, it's Tuesdays, Saturdays and Sundays. 
the Tuesday one is supposed to be a bit more tutorial and a bit less chat. Um, it's not working out so well. <laughs> We're still all chat. Um, but so anyway, Tracy thinks it's lovely. Oh, that's nice. Helen thinks very pretty. Candice. Hi, Candice. Uh, just gorgeous. Jory, love it. Oh, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Nancy likes it. Hi, Nancy. Uh, Donna, it's very pretty. She Marie, it's beautiful. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. I'm with you, Miss Miss P. Shabby Chic is top of my list. Yeah, Kerry. And M&S Biscuits. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, so the next time that you join me, if you ever want to again, we will be doing the side flaps. Like that. How does it go? I can't be deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So before then, I'm actually going to choose the papers and stuff, all right? So you don't have to sit and suffer that torture with me. <laughs> um, but I like what we've done today. I love this little envelope. I think it's so cute. And I love this little tummy tuck. For those of you new to the channel, we don't have belly bands because we think it's a bit crude. It sounds a bit crude. So we have tummy tucks. Um, and this one is a horizontal one, usually more usually they go vertically, but that fits in with that. So I shall see you on Saturday, people. Actually, I'll be over on the Facebook group, Miss Paint A Lot's Junk Journal group, fairly soon, in about, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, something like that. I need to pop on and do a live because because everybody's kindness is just too much for me, basically. Uh, and I, I need to thank you. So I will be live on my Facebook group in, I don't know, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. You know me, I'm not much good with time. And I'll see you then. Apart from that, I'll see you here on the YouTube channel, uh, 2 o'clock Saturday, same time, same place, same stuff. <laughs> so thanks so much everybody for for joining oh my goodness we couldn't wow. get through it could we i see he's got a ring on it <laughs> uh see you on saturday bye everyone bye bye thank you